Hi, so this is a video on um, tackling this coffin smoother that I picked up from eBay. They're basically cleaning it up, uh, tuning it a bit. The sole isn't flat, it's got a steel toe on it, uh, which I think is probably a replacement, it doesn't fit properly. And uh, obviously the blade needs sorting out as well on sharpening, and we'll test it out on a few uh, hardwoods. Now I had a bit more of an inspection with this plane, and I'm quite pleased. The ramp is pretty smooth and appears to be pretty flat in, in the same plane as well. So I'm not going to do much to that. I have a Japanese file here which actually has more of a planing action to it. It can take very light planing strokes uh, and it's flat as well. So I'm going to just clean the ramp very slightly with that. The abutments where the wedge presses up against they also feel quite smooth so I'll just go give those a light touch as well. I've checked the the sole for flatness and at the moment the head of the iron is higher than anything else and there's quite a rock on there so I'm going to tackle the fit of the toe by flattening off this area and reducing it slightly more on the, the mouth end which should bring the toe in parallel with the, the rear of the plane. Um, I'll also make sure that the toe is very slightly lower than the rest of the sole of the plane and then when we go to flatten the sole it will be the wood that we're first of all removing just a slight amount to bring it down to the level of the toe and I think that'll be a lot easier but it's feeling a lot better next job is to flatten the sole. So I've installed the blade, I'm going to retract it slightly, put the wedge in quite firmly, just check that the blade is well retracted. I've set the foot on there nice and tight and we can now flatten the base as we would a normal metal plane by running it backwards and forwards on sandpaper and I'm just checking I can see that I'm touching wood and not the metal yet as I predicted I decided I still had quite some way to go so with regular checking with a straight edge I'm tackling the inconsistency with a block plane, which I've set quite fine.
and that's very close now. You can of course do this entirely on sandpaper. So if you didn't have a plane apart from the one you were repairing, you could still do this job. And that looks super. So I'll just take that back to the sandpaper. As you can see on this wedge, the tip of this side has broken off and also you may be able to see that it's no longer in line with the side of the wedge so it's not actually going into the the wedge section of the abutments and so that's not actually having much of an effect on holding the blade down so what I think I'm going to do is to remove all of this part and a section down here and splice in a new piece of material and then recut the end of the wedge. Taking a closer inspection with the wedge and blade in place I can see that right down at the end of the wedge the wedge isn't actually on the blade so it's actually not performing any function and couldn't actually perform any function so I'm not now going to worry about the one side because for as much area as possible it is actually working correctly. With the blade and wedge installed I can mark out the extent of the wedge which is having no effect. Then I can remove that and tidy the end of the wedge up. On the other side of the mouth you can see that the end of the wedge which was very buckled is just coming out of the wedge abutment and so isn't actually performing its job quite as it should. It's not that bad, there's probably only about a quarter of an inch where it's not working properly but I think if we splice a new piece in we should see some sort of improvement. 
So I will go ahead and do that. I'm just fashioning a new end for the wedge out of a scrap piece of beech. Now to remove the twisted and misshapen end of the wedge. Now we can just tidy that up slightly with chisels until we get a good fit with our splice. And that looks good, so we can glue that up. And just hold it by hand until we get a bit of initial tack, and then I'll put a clamp on it. And we can leave that to dry. On the repair I spliced into the wedge, I now need to use some planes and chisels just to refine it to exactly the right shape. I need to flatten off the back with the rest of the wedge and then get exactly the right taper so that both, both fingers on the wedge tighten up on the iron as we put them into the body of the plane. Lots of retrying and fitting so we get the same tightness on both sides of the wedge. <laughs> 